OK, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to compare two lists using VLOOKUP or maybe XLOOKUP. I'll show you how to do that where the two lists are on the same sheet, where they're on different sheets in the same workbook and when they're in different workbooks. OK, so I've got my list of January customers and my list of February customers. Which customers in February are new customers? So not in the January list. So I'm going to write my VLOOKUP in column G. Lookup value will be the customer name in the February list, comma. Table array will be the column that I'm comparing the February column with. So that's the January column. And I need to lock that. I'm going to do that with the F4 key on my keyboard. If F4 doesn't work, try Fn F4, that's the function key in F4. If that doesn't work, then type the dollars in as I've got them there. Comma, col index number is one. So we only have one column in our table array. So we can only specify the first column within that table. Comma, and then you can either put false or zero in the last argument. Close the bracket, press enter. Now, if I look, down this list of results, the NAs indicate that, for example, less than perfect pet veterinary services isn't in the January list. So the NAs show the differences. Where the VLOOKUP returns a customer name, that's a match. So no management here and co was a customer in January. Now you may be happy with these results as they are, but if you wanted to say convert the NAs to another value, we might want to say yes rather than NA. Yes to the question, is it a new customer? Now to achieve that, we need to use a couple of other functions. The first function we're going to use is isNA. And isNA will return true or false. True if your VLOOKUP returns the NA error and false if it doesn't. So if I copy that down, you can see that I've now got trues and falses. If I want to convert the trues and falses to something else, which I do, I put the whole of my existing formula in the if function. So this becomes our logical test. And I'm going to say the value of true, so if there is an NA error, I want a yes instead. And value of false, I'll just have an empty text string. So that's two speech marks, nothing in between. Close the bracket, press enter, copy this down. And you can see it indicates where we have a new customer. Now, if you have Excel 365, you could do this with XLOOKUP. Okay, so XLOOKUP, my lookup value is the customer in February. Lookup array is the list I'm comparing my February list to, and I need to lock that. Return array would be the same list in January. Also need to lock that, and then I'd close the bracket. Copy it down. Get the same results as last time, and I can use isNA to return the logical test, true and falses, and then put this within an if to return my yeses and blank cells. OK, so that's how it works if both lists are on the same sheet. What about if they're on different sheets? OK, so we have the February list in the February sheet and the January list in a separate January sheet. I'm going to use VLOOKUP here. I'm looking up this February customer in the list on the January sheet. So I go over to the January sheet tab down here. And then I select the customers in the January list. And you can see your formula up in the formula bar. If I press F4 on my keyboard, I get those dollars in that range reference, which means it's locked, comma. My col index number, you see the screen tip here, col index number, that's going to be one, because we only have one column in our table array. And I'm doing an exact match, so that's false or zero. 
and take you back to the February sheet and then you can copy this down. Now I'll leave those results as they are, but you could do the same thing that we did here using an if is an a formula. Now a slight improvement of what we've done there is before you write your VLOOKUP is give your table array. So in our example, that's the January list. Give that list a named reference. Now to do that, you select the list and then you click up here in the name box. So that's just to the left of the formula bar and you give it a name. So I'll call this January underscore customers. I'm using an underscore because you cannot have a space in a name, in a named reference. So how does that help us? So we're back in the February sheet equals V lookup. Lookup value this February customer, comma. Now, previously what we had to do is click on the sheet containing the January list and then select the January list. Now we can just type in the name that we gave that list. And just by typing a J in there, you can see it comes up in the IntelliSense list. So I can tab or double click on that name. And now I have the table array in my formula. I don't need to use dollars because the named reference is by default an absolute reference, a locked reference. Column index is one and range lookup is zero or false. And if I copy that down, you can see it works just as before. So let's now look at a scenario where the January and February sheets are actually in different workbooks. So now I have a February workbook, which only contains the February list, and then a January workbook. I switch windows. A January workbook that only has the January list in it. Now these are the only two workbooks that I have open. And because that is the case, I can go to arrange all and then just click on okay. And it will arrange both workbooks side by side on my screen. So I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit in my February workbook. So I'll start my VLOOKUP formula. Lookup value is the customer in February. Table array is the list in the other workbook, the January workbook. So what I have to do is click once into that window and then select the January list. Now, one thing to notice is that when you select a cell or cells in another workbook, it automatically creates an absolute reference to that cell or range of cells. You can see the dollars have been put in automatically, which is actually what we want. So the call index number is one, and the last argument we want false or a zero. So if I press enter and copy this down, you'll see the formula works. Now, what if you're referring to a named reference in another workbook? Let's see how that works. So what I'll do is I'll name this list again. I'll call it January customers. Press enter every time you create a name to store it. And I'm writing my VLOOKUP in the other workbook. So here's my lookup value. Now what I do is I click somewhere in this other workbook and then I press the F3 key on my keyboard. And that'll bring up a list of all the named references in that workbook. So I select the name that I want in my formula Click on OK, and you can see it now is in my formula. Comma, one for my call index number, and false or zero. Close the bracket and press enter, and the formula works, and it will copy down. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.